There are ten enemies of life. Whenever you are a child of God, I want you to listen and follow me very clearly. And in one or three or four, you will find yourself in this area. And this is the enemy that does not want you to succeed in life. Number one, fear. Fear prevents you from seizing your opportunity. The enemy is using fear to block you from seeing what God has prepared for you. Uh, fear and faith cannot operate in the same heart. I am praying for you against this demon. And may God set you free in Jesus' name. Number two is ignorance. Ignorance prevents you from making a good decisions. I've seen many people losing their opportunity because of ignorance. You ignore you ignore somebody that God has sent to you. You ignore that man of God who is praying for you. You ignore your manager. You ignore your boss. This one will make you to suffer in life. I rebuke that spirit of ignorance to come out of your life in Jesus' name. Number three is anger. Anger prevents you from seeing clearly. Because somebody hurt you. The word of God says that you, need, you should not allow anger uh, to go tonight. Which means that uh, you should not allow the sun to set while you are angry. So, child of God, I rebuke this spirit of anger that is around you. And I command it out by fire, by thunder. And I pray, may God set you free and uplift you to a higher level where no man can be able to bring you down. Number four is envy. Envy prevents you from focusing on yourself. You take advantage of yourself. You mess around with your mind. You mess around with your body. You need to wake up and pray and rebuke such a spirit and God will bless you. Number four is ego. Ego prevents you from learning from others. Ego will make you to feel your, your own boss. Ego will make your life messed up. But as a child of God, I want to pray for you against this spirit of ego. Because ego has made a lot of family to suffer. Ego has made a lot of family to separate. Ego has made a lot of family, and especially men, uh, not to see what God has prepared for them. May God bless you so much. Number six is doubt. Doubt uh, prevents you from believing yourself and taking risk to follow your dreams. Many dreams are shattered. There are people who are dead in their graves with their vision, which was full of power, which was full of life. But because of doubt, they doubted themselves and um, they did not uh, succeed or did not fulfill their destiny. I rebuke the spirit of doubt and I command it out in the mighty name of Jesus. And I am praying for you. Doubt will never be part of you in Jesus' name. Even when God wants to heal you or when God wants to open doors for you, if you are doubtful, if you are doubting the power of God, Nothing will happen to you. That's why when you see Jesus uh, trying to heal somebody, he asked them, do you believe? And they said yes. And when they say yes, uh, the, the, Jesus replied to them and said, your faith has healed you. That means uh, if you have doubt, your healing will not come to pass. If you have doubt, your blessing will miss you. If you have doubt, your opportunity will miss you. God bless you. Number seven, hate. Hate prevents you from becoming a better person. You need to remove that hatred inside your heart. You need to remove that hatred. I'm talking to you on a personal level. I'm not talking to someone else. You that you are watching this video, you are the one that I'm talking to. I pray that this spirit of doubt will come out of your life and you leave a lot of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. This spirit of hatred shall come out of your life and you'll be full of victory in Jesus' name. Number eight, unforgiveness. Unforgiveness prevents you from living as a free person. Because you did not forgive your parents, you are not free. Because you did not forgive your husband or your wife, you are not free. Because you did not forgive your friend who did hurt you, you are not free. You need to forgive so that you can have a free life and God will bless you and keep you. Number nine, lying. Lying prevents you from trusting you or prevent people from trusting you when you keep on lying people will detect lie be in between the lines they will detect that you are saying lies and it will prevent people from trusting you that's why you see yourself people rejecting you and running away from you sometimes you call yourself you know uh, i don't know who cast me there is nobody who cast you it is because of your lies please try to be truthful and god will bless you number 10 pride Pride will prevent you from seeing and learning from your mistakes. Your mistakes. There are mistakes that uh, you have in your life. 
So what you need to do is to overcome those prides. Don't be proud. And God will bless you and give you victory. Remember, it is pride that brought the devil or Satan from heaven. He was thrown to earth. He was demoted. You can be demoted because of your pride. And that's why, as a man of God, as a prophet of this generation, I am praying for you against these liabilities, these assets, and these demonic entities that are messing around with you. You need to be free from all these ten uh, enemies of life. And God will keep you safe in Jesus' name. For prayers and uh, a spiritual solution, you can contact me. The numbers are there on the screen. God bless you and may God keep you. Amen.